Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Grubble and Ken, and today, about to get it in on a couple different things. My sister-in-law ordered the number one for me, which is at a place called Angry Bird. Never been there, never tried it. Actually, never even heard of it until today. But their number one consists of two chicken tender sandwiches, as you see inside coleslaw, and a pickle. Same thing here. It looks like there's some sauce on it. Crinkle fries here with some, looks like seasoning salt or valri salt. And then my sister-in-law made these right here. This is brown butter chocolate chip cookies. So a whole, whole, whole different thing. And then I have a slice of some cornbread right here. Oh, I know this is going to be good. So the temperature that I got for this one, it's hot. It's a chicken tender in there. So that chicken tenders usually mean it's going to be chicken breast on the inside. Let's give it a taste. Wow. Spiciness absolutely hits you right away. I don't know how many different levels there are, but this one in particular, oh man, is super spicy. Let's give it another bite. Mm. Nice crispy, yet yeah. tender chicken on the inside. Mm. The coleslaw helps get a nice crunch. And then the bread helps kind of, in a way, mellow down that spiciness from their glaze or the sauce that they use. Mm. Chicken super tender, as you guys saw there. I need something to help calm down the spiciness. Let's get some of these, these fries here. So these are crinkle cut fries with salt. Hmm. This helps. My mouth is freaking burning right now. <laughs> Nice crispy fry. Nice little Lowry salt hit on it. My mouth is still, it's still on fire. <laughs> Those helped out a lot. Let's go in for another bite of this chicken. I just love how soft this bread is right here. This burger bun that they've used. Right when you bite into it, you taste the crispiness from the slaw, a little bit of mayonnaise, and then the spice, and then a nice little um, bite into the chicken breast in itself, which I know sometimes, you know, chicken breast can be dry, but in this case, this one's really juicy. I know you guys can hear the crunch from that. I can feel the crunch from that. <laughs> yeah. 
I know typically you're supposed to save dessert for last, but I, I can smell the aroma of that brown butter and the chocolate chips. Let's give it a taste. That's what it looks like there. Beautiful color, as you guys can see. Nice chewy texture on the inside, very moist. And then a little bit of a crispiness on the bottom. Mm. That's an amazing cookie. I'm not gonna lie. And it's not because it's my sister-in-law either. Great big pieces of chocolate morsels in there, as you guys can see. And that nice brown butter taste. Very, very unique, very distinct from a normal chocolate chip cookie. Mm. I would say brown butter adds like a little bit more depth uh, in flavor. It's like a weird, like kind of like a, like a, not a darkness to it, but more of like a, you know, like a nutty sweetness to it with the sweetness of the chocolate morsels. Delicious. It actually cured the spiciness from the, from the chicken sandwich. <laughs> what are your guys' favorite types of fries? Is it you know, just regular thin cut ones like they do at McDonald's, crinkle cut, curly fries like they do at Jack in the Box, or like that that waffle cut that they do at like Carl's Jr. Hit me in the comments below, let me know. I'm curious to know. I need some more. Mm. Last little bite here, little piece of chicken in there, a little bit of the coleslaw left. Mm. Man, that softness of the bread, I love that. Mm. All right, let's go in for some of this cornbread. Look at that. I know it looks like a slice of pie the way I cut it. I just didn't know which way to cut it. So I just chose what I thought was gonna be best. Now let's give it a taste. Mm. It has a very nice corn husk flavor on the inside. Nice and it's parts of it are crumbly but it's dense, it holds, holds itself really well, which I really like. A lot of times when you eat cornbread, or most of the times when I have cornbread, it's usually super dense. This one has a nice flakiness to it. And look how, I mean, look at how fluffy that is right there. Man, tasty. Perfect amount of honey. Adds a great sweetness to that corn flavor from the cornbread. Mm. All right, let's get back into this right here. The last sandwich here. You guys ready for this? I don't know if I am. My stomach's already burning, but it's too late. Mm. 
Look at that one there. Man, and tearing up it puts you in a difficult position because it's like, it's spicy, but at the same time, it makes you want to eat more at the same time to kind of stop the burn. <laughs> Let's get another bite. Coleslaw and a mayonnaise definitely help out with that. Uh, I need some fries. Mm -hmm. I already know it's gonna be a problem for me tomorrow because if it's only 10 minutes into this video and my stomach's burning already, oh, I know I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> I totally forgot what helped me out last time. It was the cookie. Brown butter cookie to the rescue. Helped me out before. Hopefully it can help me out again. I don't think you guys ever have had a better cookie than this. Hit me in the comments, let me know. What's your favorite cookie and why? Mm. And if you've ever had a brown butter chocolate chip cookie, I'm curious to know that. No lie guys, you guys gotta try it. Eat something really spicy and then eat a brown butter cookie. Like this one right here, the sweetness that you get from the cookie, the delicious flavor, just melts away all the spiciness that you thought you had. <laughs> all right, this, this sandwich is getting kind of messy. Let's go for another bite. By the way, that was just all bread and slaw. <laughs> all right, here we go. Don't you hate when the fries get cold? They get kind of like raunchy. I'm telling you, the most difficult thing right now is not taking down the sandwich. It is taking down these cold fries. <laughs> I particularly don't like wasting food, so I'm just gonna take it down. I know, right? Why not just drink more water or something? Or drink water. Because then I won't have no place for the food, so. All right, let's finish this off. Last bite of chicken sandwich. I know it doesn't look that appealing, obviously, because I've been taking out mild bites.
right, that's down. Scoot in. Last bit of this. My savior of the day. comments below let her brother know what you'd like me to try out next it could be a challenge it could be a recipe it could be whatever until the next time